you imagine what you would do if the state next year's was never mapped? Well, it'd make it extremely hard for you to know where to go or even if something was there. This situation was a reality for a large part of the 20th century when the United States looked past its southern borders to where the Caribbean and South America remained largely unmapped and unknown. This is the Canal Zone headquarters of one of the most interesting organizations of the United States Army, the Inter-American Geodetic Survey. IAGS was set up by President Harry Truman at the end of World War II, where the Cartographic School trained thousands and was supported by the Army Map Service and later the Defense Mapping Agency, two predecessor organizations to the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. The training of technicians in the field of map making is as important a part of the IAGS mission as the maps themselves. With the bulk of the work being done by citizens of the collaborating countries, the result will be a legacy of scientifically trained manpower, which may have a profound effect on the future economic development of the hemisphere. The training didn't stop in the classroom. IAGS map makers waded rivers, climbed mountains, and trekked through jungles with their backpacks and surveyor tools to ensure the most accurate maps as possible. The maps produced form the foundation for today's computer and satellite-based geospatial information and underscores NGA's dedication to create and maintain geospatial data, knowledge, and analysis. IAGS has been supporting mapping operations in Latin America since 1946. During this time, our officers, our engineers, and our pilots have been working day in, day out with their Latin American counterparts. It is hard to imagine any program which has promoted more goodwill and understanding between the citizens of the United States and our friendly neighbors in Latin America. So while IAGS created maps of vast areas of Central and South America, it was the partnerships developed which ultimately put the program on the map.